This Starfield XP farm gives you 1000 XP every 10 seconds and will level you up multiple times in minutes. But there's one catch. You have to be incredibly evil to do it. This involves building a literal animal farm, then maiming everything in there. And if you want to maximize your XP gains, it all depends on where you build it and which animal you choose to farm. The best location I've found is here in the Schrodinger system. This system is located to the east of Alpha Centauri. And the planet in this system we're gonna land on is Schrodinger 3. Now the biome we want to land in is the Hills biome. The Hills biome is where a specific creature resides. Once you've landed, whip out your scanner and search for an animal called a swarming fox bat. This is an amazing looking creature. It's basically a giant fox with the head of a bat. At, pretty much as the name implies. Now scan every individual fox bat you see until you reach 100% completion. When you do, you'll unlock the capability to breed it at your farm, provided that is you first unlocked rank one of zoology. With rank one of zoology, you can build the animal husbandry facility at your outpost. So go ahead and do that. Personally, I like to build my outposts in a patch of flatland and the desert biome on this planet is perfect. The animal husbandry facility is located on the buildings tab. By default there's only one but you can unlock two additional facilities that are increasingly larger. These are the commercial animal husbandry facility and the industrial animal husbandry facility. They basically just churn out more animals in less time. You don't really need these larger facilities for this XP farm to work but if you did want to try them you can can unlock them using a research station. They're found under the domestication tab. To be honest though, the biggest animal husbandry facility was spawning animals so fast it actually made my game crash. So I've opted to place down just a couple. But you know, if you've got the RAM for it, feel free to plonk down as many as you want. Once you've laid down your animal husbandry facilities, and I'm gonna get sick of saying that over and over again, select what animal you want to spawn. You do that by interacting with the control panel. Any animal on the planet you've scanned to 100% completion will be available to breed at the facility. It doesn't tell you what the creature is, just what resource it produces. So the fox pat, for example, as we can see, produces sedative. If one of the headings is saying that it requires scanning, like here we see under the luxury textile heading, that just means you need to scan the creature that produces this resource. It's not really that helpful since it doesn't tell you what creature actually produces this resource, so you just need to scan everything on the planet until you reach 100%. But the fox bat is the animal that will give you the most XP with 126 XP per fox bat. You can boost that amount to 129 XP by sleeping in a bed for one hour. This gives you the well rested perk. The well rested perk increases XP gain by 10% for 20 minutes. You can also eat three types of food that will give you 2% additional XP gain, which stacks with the 10% from sleeping for a total of 12% XP gain. These three food items you can eat are the alien tea, which gives you 2% extra for 15 minutes, shepherd's pie, which gives you 2% extra for 60 minutes, and grandpa's meatloaf, which gives you 2% extra for 120 minutes. So that one's obviously the best. So have your one hour nap and then chow down on some delicious meatloaf, and that's the best way to optimize this XP farm. You can check your current active perks by pressing Y on the menu. Another thing to be aware of is ammo. You are going to churn through a whole lot of ammo while you're destroying these poor innocent creatures. Most effective weapons are ballistics and mag weapons. They'll take down the animal's health the quickest rather than laser weapons. And the weapons I like to use are the Keel Hauler, which you get from the Crimson Fleet, and the Experiment A7. This one is also a really good one. You should be able to take down each of these creatures in just two hits of each. And of course, anything explosive works like a dream. What I like to do best though is be pretty evil and construct a watchtower, then climb to the top of it, whip out a sniper, and pick everything off 
one by one. The reason this works so well is because while you're crouching, you'll actually do four times sneak attack damage, taking out the animal in a single shot. And this works over and over because they never think to look up. Really, really dumb. Or if you wanted to be really frugal, you could save on ammo entirely by using melee weapons. A katana will always get the job done. And the great thing is that all the animals you breed won't fight back. You've literally domesticated them so they're free targets. See, that's what I mean about this being a pure evil farm. The game definitely didn't intend for you to use animal husbandry like this. Like it just wanted you to harvest these creatures for their resources, not to literally harvest the creatures themselves. There's a mechanic where you can set up your facilities with food so your animals can eat it and they'll drop the resources. But when they're such a rich source of XP themselves, of course we're going to farm them and any other creature that happens to stray too close. Alternatively, if you breed this face hugger looking thing at your farm, you can even use turrets on it since it's the only one that will actually act aggressively towards you and therefore trigger any turret you've built. So it's less an XP farm this one and more an XP war zone. Honestly, just a few minutes harvesting animals and you'll boost multiple levels and unlock a whole bunch of skill points. And the only drawback is you will feel very bad about yourself the entire time. So let me know how you get on with that XP farm guys. And of course, if you can improve on this in any way, feel free to let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Remember to give this video a like and for more, Starfield Guides, subscribe to the channel.